good to get your first goal last week. Yeah, uh, I mean, I got one in pre-season, but I can't really, I can't really count that as much as the one in pre-season. I meant a little bit more. From close range, it was they all count, I guess. Uh, yeah, to be honest with you, I'd, I'd like to say I knew what I was doing, but it just, it just hit me. But it's one of them things where uh, made my own look a little bit. They started the attack on the halfway line and then done well to get in the box. So it's not it's not a fluke. Yeah, technically, obviously that's important. And you, you got in the right position to score. That's why you scored. Yeah, um, it's good habits and things like that. That it's cliche as you like, but. Um, you've got to be there and uh, I've made a knack out of it especially last season and hopefully this season as well Yeah, that, that, that's what I was going to come to you're used to scoring goals you, you, you're obviously top scorer at, at Boston um, was it just a nice feeling to, to score in the Football League again? Yeah uh, it was more of a relief I think mainly because it's been so many years since, since I've had that feeling I mean the feeling of scoring goals is doesn't really change wherever you are but I think just for myself uh, it was a lovely feeling yeah. How did you feel as a group after the game um, obviously you drew it in the end but to score three goals I guess there's positives at one end but the fact you conceded three is, is a negative so how, how do you look at it? Um, deflated after the game initially uh, but I think when we come in Monday and we really look back at the game we played really well like it was great performance the only thing is was the mistakes for the goals I mean the in this first half two of the goals were unacceptable um, just silly little mistakes no one individually but as a, t as a team as a collective that's we were making mistakes um, and once we eradicate them then I really think that we've got a great group this year and we've really got a chance do you think you're, you're gelling very well so far obviously no win yet but it's really early days yeah, um, I think if you look at the positive of it, uh, just to get a point on the board Saturday, I mean, we'd have lo loved it to be free, granted, um, but we can't change that now. Uh, so a point on the board and then take it into, into tomorrow, um, you know, hopefully get the first win. How good is it playing with Jimmy Knowles again? Yeah, it's good. Me and Jim, uh, I mean, we what, played 50 games together last yeah. year, maybe. Uh, trained every day. Uh, we live together so it's like yeah we're, we're in each other's pockets half the time we'll, we'll get on each other's nerves a bit but I mean when we're playing together we just we know what each other's tendencies are what they're like yeah it's someone that I don't have to gel with that's a good thing isn't it <laughs> yeah how how, uh, how did it work at, at Boston you you were a front two weren't you yeah so is, do you have to adapt here a little bit under what John Dill is asking you to do? How's, how's it work that way? I mean, we can't, we can't just come in and play the, the game that we want to play. It's simple as that. Um, maybe in the, in the National League we'd have got away with it. Uh, due, maybe due to the standard and the teams we're playing against and things like that. Um, but, I mean, here, so now for the first three, four games, we've played as a one and a one. Um, so, obviously... One of us has got to get back a lot more, do do more defensive work, especially the first game against Doncaster. Like that was out of possession; it was a lot of work. Um, but no, it's. I feel like we're we're both quite clued up, and uh, whatever the gap is asking us to do, um, we take on board. What's the step up been like from back from non-league into football league? How, how big's the the gap, so to speak? Um, not as com in comparison to like for example the top end of our league uh the the jump isn't huge um but obviously there's a lot of teams lower in lower down in that league that are uh, not as much quality so for example your scunnies and things like that in our league it's not that much of a jump it's fairly similar um but i think it's just team co team cohesions and things like that they play a lot more um a lot more drilled uh so obviously you have to go into games a lot more prepared. Obviously you came through at Aston Villa, Kelsey. Um, did you always feel when you went into non-league that you could you could get back into the football league? I guess that was always the ambition. Uh, yeah, it was. I feel like it's everyone's ambition to get, to get back as playing as high as possible. Um, 
there was times where I doubted myself a little bit, um, especially after doing my, my ACL. Mm. That was a time where I thought, I, I mean, at one point I thought I wasn't going to be playing again. Um, but then obviously I've come, up, come back after that and gone to Boston. And then it was one of them where it was just, in my head, this was my last opportunity to move up, obviously because of my age. Um, and yeah, and luckily I, I took it. Who have you got to thank to, for getting you back after that injury as well? And obviously you, you move here. Um, everyone around me at the time. Uh, so my family, my mum, dad, everyone like that just kept me sane really because that was, that was probably the toughest period I've had in my career, definitely anyway. Um, I was out for 11 months, I was do, training by myself every day, just trying to basically re rehabilitate myself. Um, but no, looking back on it, I wouldn't even change it for anything because it's got me to where I am now. Yeah, um, I, I spoke to one of the Fleetwood players who had a similar injury recently and he said it was a... He, he's almost glad it happened in a weird way because it set him up for the future and made him stronger. Yeah, I. Um, the way I describe it was, uh, without getting too, too deep diving into it, um, the way I would describe it is the fact that maybe before I took some days for granted, uh, some games, maybe training sessions, not preparing right, things like that. Um, but when you sit and watch football for eleven months, not being able to play it. Uh, the first day that I was able to play it from until present, I've not taken anything for granted. I made every, made sure I train, play every day like it's my last last day of my career. Um, you mentioned your your parents there. Um, how much of an inspiration is is your dad, who obviously played for Birmingham and for for Watford as a as a striker as well? Yeah, uh, I mean I've watched hundreds and hundreds of football matches since I could walk. You know, I'd go to games early with my old man and I'd sit in the changing room while he's getting ready to go out and things like that. I used to go, when I wasn't at school, I'd go training, training with my dad and some of the gaffers that, that he would work with would stay out with me afterwards and do finishing sessions when I was like a little kid. Um, so I've been around this environment, this is all I've ever known. Um, and he's been harsh on me at times, but since coming back from from a knee injury, I think he just appreciates the fact that I can play again and he just watches it as a dad now. And that's like, it helps me more than anything. That's interesting that you, you spent so much time with him as a, as a youngster, even when he was he was working, essentially. Yeah, uh, I used to love it. I used to go in on, I mean, he's played for countless clubs, but yeah. I used to go in with him and uh, go into the changing room and all like, all his teammates and the lads like knew me because I'd, I'd be there all the time. Um, just like a little mascot for the for the club, you know, um, and I just always be kicking the ball about. Just going back to your friendship with Jimmy Knowles, what do you do together? <laughs> Is there anything you you do away from the pitch that, that's uh, interesting? Do you know what? Because it's been pre-season things like that, we're too tired. <laughs> yeah, we've been too knackered. Um, I'm a golfer. Jim ain't a golfer. I've tried to get him into it. He's having none of it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, he's once once the season gets rolling, uh, I think we'll be able to to do a lot more. But during pre-season, it's train, eat, sleep because <laughs> it's been a rough one. Are you, are you a pair that do, do you talk about work when you go home, or do you talk about different things? Yeah, I guess you have to have that time to switch off. Uh, not massively, you know. Yeah. We don't. I mean, we. We spend 24 hours a day together, <laughs> so we talk about everything and anything. Uh, but no, he's, he's he's younger than me, and uh, he he has to keep a hold of me for being an idiot sometimes. But <laughs> <laughs> friendships are important in football, aren't they? It's it's a tough business sometimes. You've just discussed that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, you'd, there's not many players that I from clubs that I've been to in pre previous years and things like that that you stay in touch with obviously there's a handful that I still speak to but um, yeah Jim, Jim's one of them that's obviously I've been been with at two clubs now there's uh, Keaton Ward from Boston last year yeah uh, obviously he's best mates with Jim and I'm really good friends so we, st we still speak all yeah. the time um, just in terms of the way the team's going feel good about what's to come with under John Doolan yeah I'm 
I mean, me individually, I know as a group, I can speak for us, but like we're excited. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've we've slowly added more and more quality, more and more depth. Um, and I think Saturday, I thought I thought fans were going to have to be patient with us because we're a new new uh, group and we're gelling. Um, but I think Saturday was that second half was where fans sat there and thought, wow, like we've we've got a good team here because. I don't think uh, I don't think Harry got out of their half for the whole yeah. second half, so that just shows what we, what we can do. Newport, obviously a, a long trip. We were looking for that first win. Uh, yeah, so we're travelling down today. Um, we're going to make sure we prepare right, and then uh, and hopefully get three points on the board tomorrow.